Have you always wanted to sound great on the drums? Be able to play any song? Play a drum solo that inspires people? Be the kind of drummer that when people hear you, they go, holy sh**, listen to that guy or girl. You know, to essentially be a rock star on the drums. But how are you supposed to be a rock star on the drums if you don't know exactly what's important to work on? If you don't have the time to work on it? Or you constantly say things to yourself like, I'm too old, or I started too late, or I'm too old to start, or I don't have a big fancy drum set. I live in a small apartment and a drum set is too loud. I'm willing to bet that you've actually tried in the past, but probably gave up on it because of one or some of those reasons. And in spite of maybe taking a few lessons or going through some books or some courses online or looking through YouTube videos, you didn't really get the results that you wanted. Am I right? And if you have things like a full-time job, or a family, or bills to pay, how do you possibly find time to practice the drums? And how do you justify spending all this money on drum sets and cymbals, maybe an electronic kit because you're in an apartment? And what if I go ahead and invest in all that gear and then life gets in the way and I never use it? Now compiling all those reasons, I'm too old, I don't have the gear, I don't have the time. These are the things that stopped you from becoming a rock star on the drums. Now with all this life stacked against you, is it even worth it? Now in spite of that, do you still endlessly go on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram looking for tutorials on that quick fix of how to get great at drums? I mean, maybe you'll find that one video that'll give you the secret and then poof, you're a rock star. You'll magically be an expert at the drums. Now no judgment, because if you're anything like me, you've already spent hours of time doing that. Okay, okay, so let's just stop all of that. Now, if you love the drums and any of those thoughts have been constantly running through your head, my name is Jay Fenishel. You might have already seen me on places like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And over the past few decades, I've helped thousands of drummers transform their playing. And the reason why I know I can help you is because I was you. The difference is when I was learning how to play drums, I had to figure it out. There was no other option for me. And sometimes when you're under that kind of pressure, you find a way. Now, when I was a young drummer learning, I was obsessed with guys like Dave Weckl and Vinnie Kaliuta and Dennis Chambers and Steve Gadd. I wanted to be fast, I wanted to be flashy. And with enough practice, I figured out a lot of those patterns and I got really good at playing them really fast. And that served me pretty well at the high school talent show or at the music store. When I went to my college audition, I was auditioning for a spot at the Jazz Conservatory of Music at SUNY Purchase in New York. Now the instructors that were overseeing the auditions explained to me, we have a small department, there's a 75 person cap on the department, and we're really not taking any drummers. So just a little disclaimer before you go in. So that means they were only taking three new freshmen this year, and it was pretty clear they didn't need drummers. So the audition was just going, it was pretty standard, and I knew I wasn't really doing anything to impress these judges. So I decided, man, I gotta do something. So at that point, during a trading fours type of exercise, I decided, okay, now it's time to take the risk and stretch out. I just threw out every lick, every type of fill that I knew that I thought would impress these judges. Now that sounds great, but the problem with my playing was, I could do those things really fast, but I didn't really have a great understanding of where I was in the time. Now I knew this, but the instructors didn't. And somehow by what I like to say was some kind of divine intervention, an angel on my shoulder, whatever, every single lick that I threw out, every chance that I took, just landed perfectly, right on the one. The instructors were just looking at themselves like, holy cow, their jaws were on the floor. Now, they didn't know it, but my jaw was kind of on the floor also. Now, at the end of the audition, they kind of came up to me and were like, listen, we're gonna let you know, kind of, not formally, but you're in. And this was a really big deal because like I said, they weren't accepting a lot of freshmen and they didn't need any drummers. Now, here's the problem. When I started my actual freshman year, what do you think happened? the instructors started to realize that everything that happened in my audition was kind of a miracle. And needless to say, they were pissed. Now they couldn't kick me out because you know, if I was passing all my classes, so what they decided to do was just ride me in an effort to get me to quit. Every class that I went into, the teacher would just go after me. Man, you're off the time, you're turning the beat around, you're off the click, which was beyond embarrassing and just completely knocked me down. I realized that I had to make a change. I had to find a way through this. I had to figure out what I was doing wrong and it forced me to ask some really tough questions about my playing. And because of that, I started realizing the foundational things I just didn't have under my hands. I thought I knew these things, but it turns out I had no idea. Once I identified those things and really put the time and effort into owning them, everything changed. Fast forward a couple of years to my junior year, those same teachers that were kicking me off the drums were calling me off campus for paid gigs. It was a complete and total transformation. Now at the end of my college career, I ended up graduating with a bachelor's degree in music performance with a concentration on drum set, and I was pretty much at the top of my class. But more important than getting that degree, I learned how to transform my playing 
and how to transform the playing of some of my students. And I learned how to do it really fast. So these days with social media, I have a ton of people asking me about private lessons. The challenge is I don't have a ton of time to take on that many students and I'm generally always running full. So here's what I'm proposing. In an effort to help as many drummers as I possibly can, I had this idea of developing a mentorship, a program that can really help take any drummer from that current frustrated position to really becoming a rock star on the instrument. Now this is gonna be really intense. No fluff, no BS, no messing around. I just really wanna take you from this place to this place in a short amount of time. The only caveat is it's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna take a lot of attention, a lot of focus. That being said, this program is gonna be intense. I'm not going to take students that think they wanna get better at drums. I want the student that has a burning desire to get better at drums. You know, the kind of student that will crawl naked over broken glass to get to that level. And if you're a little more casual about it and you're not that person, that's fine. I got plenty of other stuff on my social media and on my website that can help you out. But if you absolutely have to get great at drums, if it's a burning passion in your soul, then you're definitely a good candidate for one of my spots in this mentorship program. So this will actually be the second round of going through this mentorship. The first round was back in October of 2022 and what an amazing group of students we had in that mentorship. They helped me build this course. They were in every single lesson, and we're talking about 30 lessons, all different levels, all different places on the earth. We had to coordinate time zones. We had to figure everything out, but everybody showed up. It was a really incredible group of drummers. Now, we caught lightning in the bottle the first round, and I'm looking to do that again. This is my registration week, so once we hit my 15 student mark, or the end of this week, whichever comes first, then doors are gonna to close to this mentorship. So if you are serious about taking the next steps in your playing, comment the word rockstar down below and I'll send you a link to an application and a video with all the details on the mentorship. So if you wanna be a rockstar on the drums, make sure to comment rockstar down below. I'm Jay Fenichel and together, let's practice with purpose.